back in Egan, Minnesota at our Manufacturing Distribution Center. Um, I wanted to come back and talk about one of our products again. We've talked about it once before, or maybe twice, in reference to different applications. And that's called Single Print, which is designed for hard surfaces, such as mugs, plaques, um, aluminum plaques, it can go on to um, glass, acrylic, it can even go on to dog tags. As a matter of fact, um, Greg Zenker up in Lansing, Michigan at Ape Shirts is a uh, proponent of this particular product using on that application. Um, you've, I'm sure you've seen uh, on our website or excuse me on our uh, Facebook, um, he's made a number of uh, nice comments about that product and we greatly appreciate it. Um, what, the first thing we're going to do is when you look at this particular paper, um, which comes in a 8.5 by 11 or an 1117, um, you have an extremely shiny surface side and you have the imprinted side. So obviously we create our artwork and print it out on the glossy surface. Remember that that has to go into a mirror image so that when we put it down onto the surface of our plaque, which we're going to be doing, um, it will be right reading. So the first step is to create that artwork and um, we're introducing a, um, a new product with Rhinotech called Smart Designer Creative Assistant. It's a artwork program that has a lot of embedded designs. You can add designs to it as you go along um, and it works within Corel Draw X6. So when you have that program and you load um, Smart Designer Creative Assistant, it embeds itself right into it. It's simple, it's easy. I do not have a background in uh, creating artwork, graphic arts, um, but even I can do some very simple things very easily, very quickly, um, such as changing images, changing color, changing copy, and so forth. So we're going to go away just for a second, and then we're going to do a little bit of that just to show you, give you a taste of what that is, and then we'll be back to actually make a plaque. Okay, as I mentioned, um, we're looking at doing our plaque with single print, uh, but the first thing is, is we have to create our artwork. And I thought I would mention this at this point because this is a uh, program that we're introducing. It's called Smart Designer Creative Assistant. Um, and what it does is it embeds itself into CorelDRAW um, X6 and it gives you a whole selection of artwork to work with. It makes it simple, it makes it easy um, to make adjustments, change the text, change the color, move things around if that's what you want to do. And um, I've been playing around with it a little bit and I do not have a background in graphic design as you will most likely see here. However, um, it gives me the ability to do a few things, change things, make it, make it easy. So anyone who has any CorelDRAW background whatsoever um, is going to find this very simple, uh, fast, and a great uh, tool to work with. Um, this is one of the designs that I had played around with a little bit. It's Greg's Eagle, um, as you can see. And what I'm going to do is um, we're going to do this as an award. So I think we'll change the text uh, first up at the very top and we'll put in Rhinotech. Um, and uh, but I don't want to use that type style um, it doesn't quite fit with our uh, logo um, so let me just move up the line here and um, I'll just make a quick s selection and we'll go with that one um, I think you can see there that is out over in this area a little bit so we're just going to grab the corner and push it in a little crunch it down so that it fits in that area um, let's change the eagle and I'm going to go up in the right hand corner in my property editor here. Um, click on where it says eagle and make sure it's highlighted and I am going to put in Superstore and it fits in there but I'm going to move it up just a little bit again click it, highlight it uh, move it to where I want it to be, get it away from the eagle's head a little bit. Um, Rhinotech Superstore with an eagle. Okay, 
I'm going to close my text, um, go into my art, because I don't really want to use the red background. So I'm going to highlight the entire uh, piece of artwork. On my right hand side, I'm going to grab a blue. And, oh, didn't want to do that. So I'm going to back out of it with my arrow. And I'm just going to drag it over and put it in this area. Now you'll see that it covered that vector, but it didn't go over here. So I just have to do it one more time for that section. And we now have it in, in blue. Um, I can take my eagle. I can increase the size of it a little bit. And um, let me position it. And we now have our image uh, for our plaque. Just like that. That's basically how simple this is. Um, so I'm going to save this. Um, simply going into my file, save as. And it's going to be uh, Greg's Superstore, or Rhinotex, excuse me. And save that. And we now have it. And what I'm going to do is send that over to the printer. And we're going to print it out on single print in a mirror image, of course, because that thing gets rotated down into a right reading position. So in a few minutes, I'll be back, and we'll do the actual heat press. OK, we're back. Um, we did print this out, um, the image that we were working on. Uh, we actually did it on an 8.5 by 11 2 up so that we could maximize our paper. Again, on the glossy surface, mirror image. Um, it was uh, done with an Oki data laser printer. We find that the Oki data is the most consistent throughout uh, this particular paper, single, single print, as well as our single step product, which is designed for light garments. Um, so the first thing I did was just cut them in half, um, and then I'm working on a plaque such as this, and note that the plaques that are available will have two hangers on them, so make sure you have it up in the right direction, not that way. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've taken this piece and I cut the trim, trim the, the top section so that I had it the distance from the image up, and I can see through the paper to um, do that. So I line it up in position, and then I'm going to put it into our heat press. Now, when I'm doing a plaque such as this, or an acrylic sheet, or anything else like that, I like to use a rubber mat on top of it. So I hold my artwork in position, I get my mat up there, and I heat press it. Now, in this particular case, this product is done at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to do it for one minute. And once that's done, we take it out and we peel the paper, rolling it back gently um, and not stopping in your movement. Because if you do stop, it's potentially going to have a crease line there. So it is a hot peel, so we want to do it immediately after that. This particular printer is our RS. W swing away 1620 so it has a 1620 inch bed adjustable in height up and down obviously it has a timer digital um, and temperature digital setting very easy to use there we go get this out of the way remove our mat and I'm going to take the paper and gently roll it back against the grain and we have transferred the entire image. We now have it on our plaque, very straightforward, very easy, but what I'm going to do is, again, I like to take a little bit of parchment paper, lay it on top, and then I'm going to actually press this for an additional 15 seconds. What I want to do is make sure that I really have it down into the surface, uh, because when I'm rolling the paper back, I might be pulling up on it just a little bit. So this will make sure and guarantee that it's going to stay where it's been put. Peel my paper off. And we have a plaque.
Rhinotech Superstore. Um, it's that simple. Same process you do on a mug, just need a mug press, of course. Um, and again, dog tags, metal blanks, glass blanks, trophies, all kinds of things. Um, if you have any questions, you know where to find us. You'll find us at rhinotechinc.com. Come back and see us. Until then.